through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 206. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown mm -hmm. for the week of November 20th. Yep. I guess this would be called the Black Friday uh, edition, if you will. Shudder. Yeah. Black Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah, was it Cyber Monday? Whatever you want to call it. It's, <laughs> we're the pre Consumer week. Let's yeah. just call it Consumer Week sure. and get it over with. Thanksgiving, yeah. all that good stuff. There's kind of some interesting stuff coming out this week. Some mm -hmm. good stuff, some stuff that should be good that's not so great. I, I have a feeling some, some of this that's... might be pandering to the Black Friday. Uh... Probably. Oh, yeah, totally. You're probably right about yeah. that. That's a good call, actually. Yeah. Let's get started with the um, Game of Thrones Collector's Edition. Yes. Season 1. Season 1, yes. Not season 2. Still not out yet. On the surface... <laughs> Everyone's like, what? Whoa, what game ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm on that. edition. Ooh, what special things am I getting, Spencer? Not much, actually, oh. sadly. You know, essentially, this is the same release as the first season Blu-ray DVD digital combo version that's come out already. The one that came out like a year ago or yeah. something? <laughs> but this version has a collector's box adorned with... The sid was it sigil sigils of the four main houses, and comes with a premium dragon's egg paperweight and a Blu-ray <laughs> bonus disc of the first episode of season two. How, how could a paperweight ever be premium? I don't know. Maybe I mean, it's unless extra it's made heavy. of actual gold that you can turn in, for or maybe actual an actual money. dragon egg. <laughs> That'd be pretty premium, wouldn't you say? That'd be pretty sweet. So you get a dragon egg, and you get the first episode of the second season. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's all that's the differences, yeah. Feature. And a different box. And hmm. a different box. Hmm. In terms of, like, you know, the release, if, I guess hmm. if you haven't bought it, it's cool. It's got a, let's see, a making of, mm -hmm. 15 character profile clips, uh, from book to screen. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty cool to me. Seven audio commentary guides to but Westeros. I mean, the rest of this was all already out on it, right? Yeah. No, yeah. this is totally... So. But all I'm saying is, if you oh, haven't yes, bought yes, it already, yes, okay, yeah. maybe... <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's Maybe if while. you've got a friend you just got into the series and... May you go to Best Buy and it's like three dollars or something because it's Black Friday. It's like three dollars as long as you buy a TV. Or something. I, I, just, <laughs> I just am so amazed that they really just like phoned it in oh. for us. Like this is something you think about shows out now. I mean, probably Walking Dead, uh, Game of Thrones. There's mm -hmm. like Breaking Bad. Like there's yeah. a handful of shows that are just like the buzzworthy yes. shows that everyone you hear talk about. Mm -hmm. And Game of Thrones is definitely one of them. Oh yeah, definitely. So to do such like a cheap money grab is really pretty disappointing. It's You're very probably... universal of you, HBO. Yeah, it is really, yeah. Hundredth year. It's not even a hundredth anniversary or anything. It's just like Black Friday, all right, let's throw some Game of Thrones. People buy that. Stupid. Hey, we got this collector's egg that they were giving out at Comic Con that nobody wanted. I know what we'll do. We'll repackage it in a new Blu ray D V Probably make a fortune though, sadly. Yeah. We're trying to help you by saving you that trouble. Yes. So yes. Probably, unless you're a really diehard fan or you don't already own it, I would say skip it. Mm -hmm. It really looks... Or if you really need like, a paperweight, go get a rock from outside. Yeah, It'll it's work much cheaper than <laughs> yeah, it's premium dragon egg. <laughs> Speaking of uh, sort of um, less desirable mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. this is probably not going to be a popular one. The Expendables 2 mm -hmm. is coming out mm -hmm. on Blu-ray and digital copy and yep. Ultraviolet. This, more action, more old men, more wrinkles. Yes, adding, let's see, Chuck Norris yes, was added this right. time. We have Jean-Claude Van Damme mm -hmm. as the villain. More honor Schwarzenegger. Um, we'll note, though, that this was not directed by Stallone. So okay. That probably benefits it quite a mm -hmm. bit, you know. You got Simon West, Con Air. I don't know. I'll take it. But it's, I mean... If you like just like mindless action, there's <laughs> yeah. sort of, and it's it's got that sort of um, love for the '80s yeah, that is that kind nostalgic of nostalgic. Throwback and and it, they definitely take advantage of that. Nostalgia always gets people. But they also take advantage of that on like the uh, the extras. Let's see, mm. there's like bigger guns, bigger ha heroes, <laughs> the 1980s and the rise of Smaller the action wangs. film. <laughs> uh, there's also <laughs> Gods of War, assembling Earth's mightiest anti-heroes. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, there's on Assault, the real-life weaponry of the Expendables. <laughs> and then there's an audio commentary with Simon West. Sadly, there's no audio commentary 
buy the actual expendables, hmm. which seems like what I'd want to hear. Yeah. Because I, I would like them to throw in some like old school action yeah. stories on It'd the be like, yeah, this 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 scene normally we do a stunt double, but I said F it and I did it. And I, I broke thinking, three ribs because I'm thinking, friggin' senior citizen. I was thinking more like, you know, they'd be, you know, telling a story. Oh yeah, you know, in uh blah blah blah, you know <laughs> Rambo three. Yeah, I was doing this stunt and I would have done this in this movie, but I actually killed a guy with my ribs, <laughs> so I couldn't do it anymore. So that's why I had to I do like it. I like that this you way. assume awesome stories and I assume old man geriatric stories. I think this does. I think that speaks of my nostalgia for it, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm curious to see, you know, the female version of it. Yeah. Uh, there's when a couple different out, ones being worked we'll on. We'll see what yeah. happens with that. But, you know, they're saying that there's already probably going to be a third one. Uh, For whatever be, reason. I'm sure there's more people to include. I mean, come on, there's always more to include in this stuff. So that's what we're doing now. We're making movies where the actual plot and synopsis of the movies are relevant, only th nostalgic actors from another time. We've been doing this for years. This oh, is yeah, nothing right. new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plots have been not an issue since, like, 2000 that's, or even beyond. Yeah, like, that's true. It's supposed to be Probably honest since here. 80. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's got the digital copy and the ultraviolet as well. And, you know, if you like just mindless action, it's... Mm -hmm. it's not the worst yeah. thing out there. Uh, for those of you who like that mindless action, get this. Stay home. Don't go out on Black Friday. Watch this instead. Sure. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Less sure. people out there, the better. Yeah. Not like I'm going to be out there. I'm just yeah. saying in general. No. Let's move on to some more mm -hmm. quality stuff. Mm -hmm. First up, we're going to do a Criterion edition. We love to do them because they're so good. Got to name drop the Criterion. Got to name can. drop it. We've got Heaven's Gate mm -hmm. going on this week from uh, Michael Cimino. This is the Chris Christopherson, That's right. uh, Isabel Huppert, and Christopher Walken film about, you know, I think it's based on real events from the 1890s Wyoming, mm. sort of, of a couple people are sort of caught in the conflict between you know the rich landowners and uh -huh. the like um immigrant farmers that are sort of going on there hmm. it's you know there's a love triangle going on as well it's kind of an interesting film and it's got great cast very very beautifully shot in terms of the this release you know you've got the revo the restored film Mm -hmm. a, you know, always do. Oh, criteria. But you got an audio interview with Chimino and a producer from the film. You've got new interviews with Chris Christopherson, Ooh. the soundtrack arranger and performer David Mansfield, and uh, the second assistant director Michael Stevenson. Interesting. Also, you have a, um, a featurette on the Johnson County War, a video interview with historian Bill O'Neill about the real life conflict that inspired the film wow. and its resonance in pop culture. That's awesome. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. And you know, as always you get like the T V spots, the mm -hmm. trailers, there's a nice little booklet involved. Hmm. It's very, very solid release. For a film that I don't know how many people know, but it's worth checking out if yeah, you have it. It's, it's a classic. I think it came in nineteen eighty. It came oh, out wow. in nineteen eighty, so explains why I'm probably it's not. I mean, it's not a little bit before. It's not ancient, but it's it's one of those films that uh, is enjoyed by a certain portion of the population. Interesting. But it deserves more the love. attention of yeah, exactly more love. It deserves more love because Hence it why is, criterion. They know how to pick them. Yep. They know how to pick them. So I definitely, definitely recommend checking that mm -hmm. one out. It's a solid release. I believe it's the first time they've released it too. So, wow, yeah, awesome. That's always a benefit as well. Good to hear. Good to hear. Way to go, criterion. Way to go. Finally, we'll wrap up with the Tarantino at 28 film collection mm -hmm. on Blu-ray. This has, you know, Pulp Fiction, Inglorious Bastards, Reservoir Dogs, Kill Bill, One and Two, mm -hmm. Jackie Brown, Death Proof, and also throw in True Romance. Awesome. Which is solid, though I'm surprised they don't throw in, uh, what's that, uh, Mickey and Mallory? Um, oh, Natural Born Killers? Natural Born Killers, because that's Tarantino as well. Yeah. So you could have you could have done that as well, but you know they do a good I, selection of stuff. Yeah. Nevertheless, I would say that True Romance has more of Tarantino's uh, influence than Natural Born Killers because Oliver Stone has a lot of influence. I would say Natural there's Born a lot Killers. of Tarantino in Natural Born Killers. If you well, yeah, watch, clearly that, there's a lot of it in it. I'm just saying of the two, I think uh, when I think of the the classic Tarantino films, I don't think of Natural Born Killers. I do think of True Romance though, even though he didn't direct it. So. Sure. Uh, I like that they included films like Jackie Brown mm -hmm. though. 
you could have easily, I mean, I would imagine that would have been easy to leave out. Because this is two groups that are coming together, oh, Lionsgate really? and Miramax. I oh, think. nice. So I think, I, I don't know if Lionsgate just happened to get all those films. I think they purchased Miramax, hmm. and maybe that's what enabled them to do this. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's great that this whole collection is together in one. I mean, it's sort of... Unfortunately, obviously timed with the release of Django Unchained. Yes. So that's not going to be in this collection, yes. but you know, yes. it's it's got pretty much everything. Does it have any before. special stuff about Django in it? Uh, it does or? have a collection of the trailers, but oh, okay. that's about it, sadly. Okay. It's got it's got a couple other things that you know the, beyond the special fe features of the individual mm. films. It's got a critics corner where uh, you know critics are discussing you know Tarantino's films that and how they impacted cinema hmm. and. Influenced writers and directors of the time. Very cool. They got a uh, twenty year, twenty years of filmmaking to look back at Tarantino's career from the beginning, with interviews with coworkers, critics, stars, That'd including awesome. his greatest collaborator, um, Sally Menke, who mm, I think mm -hmm. was editor. Yeah. So she's the one that whenever they do the, um, what's that called? Why can't I remember it? The slat or whatever it's yeah, called yeah, yeah. for the soundtracks. They always say her name or yeah. And then you have a uh, special Jackie Brown Q&A yeah. from a film event at uh, L.A. CMA um, <laughs> with Quinn Tarantino, Robert Forrester, and Pam Greer awesome. reuniting for a discussion about Jackie Brown, moderated by Elvis Mitchell. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, that movie gets is often underrated. So oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm in, ter glad. in terms of his filmography, mm -hmm. it's probably most frequently forgotten. Yeah. I mean, compared to all the other ones, it's hard to, you know... Forget about a Quentin Tarantino film, but when you've done so many great films, it's yeah, it's unfortunate that somebody has to take yeah the, that place. I feel like Jackie Brown has gained a little bit of a nostalgic uh, love and come come back, yeah, risen back a up bit. a little bit. And I think because of the grindhouse mentality, Death Proof, I think I often forget. Just I don't think about that because I think about the two movies together. I think about what Planet Terror, Robert Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think about the two of them together, and I don't really think death proof often so i'm glad that's in there too it's also interesting to sort of see you know how interesting his film is in terms of male protagonist female mm. protagonist. he's actually probably one of the most progressive filmmakers in that regard yeah. i mean you think uma thurman in both kill bills mm -hmm. jackie brown with pam greer and then death proof with a certain degree mm -hmm. is you know inglorious bastards even to the yeah, French, English bastards. French he's lady, very he's a very progressive dude mm -hmm. and so. it's interesting that he's only been making films for 20 years yeah it's i well, mean Tells you how only. old we feel. Like, <laughs> yeah, just only, but still, like I feel like I don't know. I feel like he's been around a lot longer. Uh, I, re I remember being a, uh, a teenager and my mm -hmm. parents having to debate about whether I could see Pulp Fiction or not because <laughs> of that scene where they stab the dude in the heart with mm -hmm. the or, with the adrenaline Uma, needle. Uma Thurman, yeah, and with the needle when she yes. overdoses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which they shot in reverse. Yeah, sure. Pulled it. I out. mean, obviously, you can't stab her in the chest, but you know, that'd be good. Uh, well, maybe, maybe they can. Maybe they can. <laughs> Movie she, magic. Maybe she's method about that, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so that's it for DVD Rundown mm -hmm. for the week of November 20th. 20th. Yes. Give us your feedback and let us know which films you'll be picking up. Maybe mm -hmm. there's some other stuff that we could add to this list. There's yeah. always good stuff coming out, and we love to hear and what Black you guys Friday, want. Black Friday, there's probably tons of stuff that sure. could be also included. Sure. And join us for our next episode for our discussion of Alec Baldwin mm -hmm. in honor of Rise of the Guardians. Yep. Should be a good one, and mm -hmm. you can find us at mcguffinpodcast.com, twitter.com slash mcguffincast, facebook.com slash mcguffinpodcast, phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, we're on Blit, we're on Miro, we're on Roku. If you got the little Roku box. Yep, good yep. stuff. And check in and get glue. Yeah. And we will see you next time. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's don't even try to buy the same style. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.